Now, if there is one thing that the U.S. is infamous for, it is the country's lack of passenger rail. Despite being the size of continental Europe and home to over 330 million people, only 25 of the U.S.'s 300 metropolitan areas are serviced by any type of commuter train, and an even more limited selection of rural America is serviced by one of Amtrak's only 15 long-distance lines. Now, I have some business in Salt Lake City today, so I thought that this would be a great opportunity to try out one of those commuter rail for myself. So I am here at Ogden Station, and I am going to be taking the Front Runner train 40 miles from Ogden, Utah, where I'm staying, to downtown Salt Lake City. There are three big reasons why I'm taking the train today. The first is that a round trip fare is only going to cost me $8, something which would have easily cost me $40 in gas and parking had I drove. The second big reason is that it is significantly safer and more convenient to take the train into downtown Salt Lake City because there is no risk of me getting into an accident or having an accident slow down traffic. And the third reason is that it's only going to take me about 10 minutes longer to do this trip by train as opposed to driving which is a sacrifice that I am more than willing to make in exchange for saving money and my mental well-being. A secret fourth reason for me is just that I simply believe in passenger rail. It's something that I want to support with both my dollars and my vote, and I really believe that more people need to take advantage of commuter rail in America in order for it to get more normalized and in order for more cities to feel incentivized to add it to their infrastructure. Local lines like Front Runner have been putting forth tremendous effort to increase speeds, increase convenience, bring down costs, and to try to create a more robust rail infrastructure in the United States. Once I get seated, it's finally time to sit back, relax, and enjoy 40 miles without driving into the downtown of a busy metro. Alright, so we're here in Salt Lake City, but we're not quite done yet. I need to catch the Trax light rail to get from the Front Runner Station over to downtown. So that should get here in just a few minutes. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with Salt Lake City and Denver. On the one hand, these are like the only two kind of big cities in the American Rockies. But on the other hand, that means that they're the only places where you really have to deal with like kind of big urban issues, you know? So it's always cool to be here, you know, nice historic buildings, but I'm never really like happy about it. <laughs> anyway. This is where I need to get to, so I will catch you all on the flip side when it's time to catch the train home. Two hours later. Well, that was boring. <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm here before I catch the train. You know, maybe check out some shops, look around downtown, and maybe have a beer since I'm not driving. Ooh, <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna hang around downtown for a bit and then it's back off to Ogden. Tummy full and liver stimulated, it's finally time to head back to Ogden. I catch my light rail back to the Front Runner station, and then I get back on my train and head 40 miles back up to Ogden, Utah.
And we are done. <laughs> okay. I'd call that a pretty successful trip. Um, it was convenient, it was affordable, it was painless, and it was definitely safer than driving down the interstate and into downtown would have been. So yeah, if you are an American and you have access to commuter rail, then definitely use it. If you don't have access to commuter rail, then please push your cities, push your state. This is really something that needs to be expanded in the United States. It's extremely convenient and the more that we utilize commuter rail, the more that it will become normalized, the safer it will become and the easier it'll be to get around this giant country that we live in. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.